Hello everyone, welcome back to your channel. If you are visiting the channel for a very first time, that this is my small introduction. I'm thankful for each and every member because it's just you and only you who is helping me and this channel to grow. I thoroughly enjoy learning and sharing Salesforce knowledge with you. Please keep watching, sharing and motivating others to subscribe to your channel. Let's start with today's topic. So this is the day 16 of Salesforce administrative uh, administration course, and we are starting with our flow series. So today's session is the introduction of the flow, and I will try to explain you the each and every, uh, you know, the detail of the flow in an easy language. When I say flow, so flow is one of the most advanced automation tool uh, which we have in Salesforce till today. When I say the most advanced automation tool, so with this, I mean that you can achieve almost every functionality which you are expecting to achieve through your code. So it's a most advanced automation tool. Now, is this the auto only automation tool we have? No, we already have few, uh, you know, the automation tools like validation tool, formula, fields, roll up, summary, but these are very much precise to their job. I mean, these are precise to a specific job, a specific function. We also have the uh, the workflow and process builder. But as you know that in the uh, workflow and process builder, we have the certain limitations. So we are overcoming every, you know, the possible uh, uh, limitation in the flow. And as you know, in the, uh, it's a news that the sales force is, will be depreciating the workflow and the process will in coming future. So you might have this question that what will happen if your, uh, you have the existing workflow and process builder and it will be depreciated. So as you know, the Salesforce always takes care of the customer. And uh, even though uh, their aim is to provide the most advanced and the easy thing uh, to the customer uh, for which they depreciate the older thing and then you know, introduce the uh, new thing. But that doesn't mean that they will depreciate and uh, will ask you to rebuild your new flow. They are working on it. And let me share you the knowledge article, one knowledge article. This is in beta version right now. So they are working on this, uh, you know, the to convert your workflows to flow. And for this, they are uh, working on a migration tool, which is in beta version. I will share this knowledge article uh, in the description so that you can, uh, if in case if you need to uh, refer, you can refer. Now, when I, you know, the, when, when this, uh, this, I mean, uh, when 
we say this is a beta version. So that means it's in their development phase. They are developing, they are testing, and then you know they will be uh, allowing the customer to use uh, in their professional um, use, right? Uh, but that doesn't mean you know the uh, the customer cannot use. Customer can use, but in case of any any issue uh, will happen, then uh, because this is a beta version, so Salesforce won't be able to help you much. Now, since we know that workflow and process builder will be depreciated, so this is the one of the most important key factor as well to learn flow. Now, when I say flow, let me, let me try to explain you in a, in an easy way. So this is our flow. Now flow, we have a, we have the flow of two type. One is screen, and another one is auto launched. Now that means you know I mean uh, what does it mean with the screen and the auto launch? So screen means that you it's just like a calculator okay i mean uh, because i will be uh, showing you in detail but for now understand that uh, let me oh, sorry let me open a calculator so a user is inserting input and is getting a desired output that means we have some business logic written behind and based on that business logic we are getting our output right so that means in a in a screen we need to input our i mean user will input some data and then based on your logic which is written behind your data will be processed but in auto launch is something where you you won't uh, allow your user to input some input uh, any data but based on the logic written behind it will process your data automatically like a trigger right platform event okay and that's why i'm saying that you know the uh, with the introduction of the flow uh, the job of a salesforce administrator becomes very easy now because uh, there will be a less dependency on the uh, developer okay so let us so two types one is screen and uh, and the one is auto launch now before we move ahead we need to understand the three terminologies one is the salesforce flow flow builder and flow when i say this the salesforce flow this means that this is responsible for managing creating your the your flow and processing your business logic in a flow builder we this is responsible for managing and building of your flow and flow means this is your business logic right i mean automating your business logic by collecting some data and giving you the output right now let us go into the salesforce 
and see how we can work on the flow. So here I'm in the in the lightning mode and uh, I click on the gear icon and here I have the flow. Process automation flow. Now I can click on new. And I have the option to select the, you know, the, the uh, options available. So I'm selecting the screen flow. Now in the free form and the auto auto layout. So this is in beta version. So kindly avoid using the, the beta version. So this is my flow builder. Flow builder. And as, as I said, flow builder is, uh, is responsible for your creating and managing your flow. So this is your flow builder where I can create my flow. Now this flow builder is divided into certain sections. So first section is a toolbox, which is further divided into two sections, element and manager. Now these are my in the elements available. You can drag and, and drop any, you know, the element into this particular section this wide section, this is known as canvas. This is my canvas. Uh, okay. And this section is your button bar. Now in the button bar, as you are able to see here certain button run debug activate save as and save and uh, so run means that once you will create uh, the the you know any of the flow and uh, when you will open the flow so it will it will you know once you click on it it will run your latest saved version of the flow debug is for debugging purpose and don't worry, I will show you each and everything. Activate means you will you have to activate it. Once you activate it, here in this part, it will show that how long or, or you say you should say how many minutes or hours ago uh, your this particular flow has been activated. You can save it using save as and then it will ask for the name. And when you will click on save, that means you modify something and you, you can simply click on save. <coughs> now, as you know, this is the one section you have, which is further divided into two sections, elements, and your manager. Now, whenever you will be using any of your element into the canvas, I mean, just you will be dragging this into the canvas. So that you can also just let me show you. So let's say you dragged here, or let me take a very simple one. I mean, just I'm giving you the example. Don't bother about this, what I'm doing, because I will explain you. So, and before that, let me show you. So right now your manager is, manager is empty. Now I'm dragging this screen here. So your element, because you have given a new name as try, so it is available here now. Okay, you can also use the new 
I mean, the uh, you have the option to use the resources. Now, resources are just like your, uh, you know, the, I mean, the, uh, you can say, the, you know, uh, the uh, storage, which you can refer throughout your flow. We will discuss this thing later on. Now, this is your element, okay? And I'm, I want to connect this uh, element. So this thing will be my connector. Let me show you how. So I can simply So this is known as connector. That means it is connecting two of your element. Element. Okay. Easy. So I will be continuing the the uh, second video. I mean the second video of this flow series. Hope you have understood this much of the, your, uh, your flow part. In case of you have any question, any doubt, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy.